I just couldn't stay away. Welcome back, my friends, to the REF Sense YouTube channel. And I don't know about you guys, but this whole thing of me releasing like one video a month, this has a stop, man. I need to get back on track. There's been so much going on over the summertime that is just, ah, it's kept me away from, uh, it's kept me away from this channel like I would want. I've had a very crazy family life this summer. Um, I've reconfigured and even sold off about half of my fragrance collection to some of my viewers and everything. It has been absolutely insane. But one thing I have not stopped doing is buying fragrances. True, there are some fragrances I still haven't been able to get my hands on. I haven't been able to, you know, purchase as many as I would like, but I'm really hoping that's going to change here in the near future. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring you seven of my newest acquisitions, both designer and niche. And I'm going to tell you guys all about them, what I think of them, and I'm going to let you know if you should buy them. And spoiler alert, yeah, you should buy them. And speaking of buying fragrances, be sure you guys check out the links in the description of this video where you will be able to purchase all of the fragrance that I discuss. And if you use the website twistedlily.com to shop for any of these fragrances, be sure that you use my coupon code, which is REFSense10. It will get you a smooth 10% discount over the entire website. You guys are going to love it. Thank you all so much. So the first fragrance I'm going to talk about is actually a niche house that kind of specializes in replicating other well-known fragrances. It is Michael Malal, and they have some great fragrances, okay? I'm not going to lie. They have some really good smelling scents, but the thing is a lot of their fragrances smell like other things, and this one that I'm going to be talking about is no exception. This is Citizen Jack Mojave. A lot of you guys are familiar with Citizen Jack Absolute. I also own that one. That one is a clone. In my opinion, it's a clone of Zerzhov's Herba Pura, but this one right here is a is a clone of a designer fragrance, which is Imperial Armani Stronger With You. That's right, Stronger With You. This one is a romantic scent. But here's the thing, you would not know that if you looked at the notes on Fragrantica. What you, what you will find there is notes of cardamom, lemon, bergamot, some geranium, lavender, uh, musk, vetiver, and cedar. Okay, but to me, this smells more like this smells more like, um, you get some of those woody notes, but it also gives me vanilla and chestnut vibes, just like you would find in that, um, just like you would find in that Armani Stronger With You. But this smells really good. I would definitely recommend this as a fall and wintertime fragrance. I would definitely recommend this as a romantic type of scent. Now, here's the better part, though. If you shop for this online, I think you will be able to find this for cheaper than you would be able to find stronger with you. Depends on where you search, depends on you know what type of stock they have, what the demand is. It could be higher, could be lower, could be about the same. But if you get this one as opposed to the stronger with you, you're gonna have uh, you're gonna have a little feather in your cap knowing that this is a niche. I definitely think it's worth it. If you can find this one, I would say at one hundred dollars or less then you will have had a good deal. I got this one actually for $110. I know I paid, overpaid for it a little bit, but I was on vacation. I was with my family. I was like, you know what? I feel like spending some money. So I did it. No regrets. It smells great. Uh, Citizen Jack Mojave from Michael Malal. Be sure you guys check it out. So fragrance number two, I had been really wanting to get this fragrance for a while. I ran into a little bit of a financial dry spot a few months ago, but I was able to finally pick this up about a month ago, and I am absolutely in love with it. This is one that I ordered online because it was developed from my fellow influencer and really good friend Omar from Atrium Fragrance. This one is called Mr. Romantic. It is the second fragrance in his lineup of three fragrances. He also has Mr. Fragrant and also Mr. Maritime. 
Both of those are absolutely stellar in their own right, but I think this one right here has my heart. It definitely lives up to his name of being a romantic fragrance. The top notes are chamomile, labdanum, and cardamom. And then in the heart, you've got some lavender, neroli, and amber. And then finally, rounding everything up and just bringing a good foundation is musk, sandalwood, and vanilla. And it is such a great vanilla. I'm telling you what, of all the things you smell in this fragrance, you're going to get vanilla, you're going to get the lavender, and you're going to get the cardamom. Those three things are playing off of each other very, very well. Now, like I said, this is fragrance number two in his lineup up of three. Each one of them stands so strongly by themselves, but they are just such a great trio so far. And I think there's going to be a couple of more coming out in the future, but for right now, I think this one is going to be my favorite. Now, it does, uh, on my skin, it does lack a little bit after you get after I get the six hour range, it starts to it starts to disappear off of my skin. But here's the thing, that's not a bad thing for me. I don't, when it comes to fragrances, I'm not into long-term relationships. Yeah, there are some fragrances like um, Versace Eros Flame, like Mancera Red Tobacco that are just eternal fragrances. They last forever. But the thing is, I don't want a fragrance to stay on my skin forever. You know, I'm spraying two fragrances on a day sometimes. I want one in the morning. I want one in the afternoon. And if I'm feeling really froggy, I'll spray one on before I go to bed. This is this is a perfect amount of time. It is a perfect projection. It's very soft. It's not going to jump off of your skin like crazy. But, and you know what that means? It means it is romantic. Only people that get close to me where the romance should be happening... They're going to be the ones that really, really smell this. It's reeling them in to the romance. It's reeling them in to the passion that I want to give them. You know what I'm saying? So, Mr. Romantic, I absolutely love this one. It runs about $115, but for a, um, but I consider this to be a niche fragrance. It's technically, I guess you would say an indie fragrance, but it is worth every penny of it. And I promise you guys that even though he is an influencer, I'm, you know, I originally when it came to fragrances released by influencers and stuff, I was a little bit, you know, skeptical. But I promise I have seen the journey that Omar has taken to in perfumery. He's done everything from taking classes to sitting down and just meticulously going over formulation after formulation. He knows his stuff. He is doing it correctly. This is not just a moneymaker, my friends. This one is art. Go get Mr. Romantic from Atrium Fragrance as soon as you can. Fragrance number three. Now, this one was actually a big surprise to me. It was sent to me by way of PR. A company reached out to me. They said, we would love for you to sample some of our fragrances and make some reviews on this. The company is called True Western. And when they sent me this box, it was so beautifully laid out. Um, and they sent me like six things. They sent me two solid colognes, two ladies fragrances, and two for the guys. And as far as the guys fragrances... This one stood out to me. The company is called True Western. The line is Yellowstone, and this is Yellowstone Ride. Now, if you recognize the uh, the name Yellowstone and also kind of this emblem right here, yes, this fragrance is inspired by the hit show Yellowstone with Kevin Costner. And my friends, this is really good. I really, really enjoyed this fragrance. Um, this one is a fragrance that is meant for a more of a rugged type of guy. Uh, the notes in here are bergamot, clary sage, smoked whiskey, charred vanilla, and tobacco. So you can kind of already see it's got that tobacco, that boozy, that kind of sweet sense in there. It is a really good fall and winter time. Yet again, I'm going for all those fall winter time fragrances. This one is really good. And I'm telling you what, guys. You're going to be, um, you know, this one stands out quite a bit. Like, it jumps off of your skin. Now, the downside to this is that this is an eau de cologne. It's not an eau de parfum. It's not an eau de, uh, eau de toilette. This one right here is an eau de cologne, which means it's going to last on your skin for maybe about five hours. That's the downside to this fragrance is that it does not last too long. But the good thing is that it only costs about $55 to $60.00. And in terms of, you know, when you think to yourself, ah, oh, that's kind of a high price considering what I'm paying for that, you're literally paying more than $10 per hour of performance. 
but it is made up for in how good this smells and its projection. Okay, you need about four sprays on your skin, and you are going to uh, you're going to stand out in a crowd. I think this this also smells really good around the holidays. The the vanilla and the whiskey, and even some of that bergamot in there, it just kind of creates this bit of like spiced cider type sense to it. It's not a spiced cider smell at all in in reality but it just kind of has that vibe you know what i'm saying so anyways yellowstone ride from true western this is a really really great fragrance you do have to order from their website i'm going to leave a link in the description below i do not make any commission from that purchase but it is okay don't worry about it i strongly suggest you guys go and check this one out here we are at fragrance number four, guys, and I'm so happy to bring this one to you. This is the heaviest hitting fragrance that I have in this collection, not just because I like it the most, but because it's also the most money that I spent on a fragrance at $370. But guess what? I've been wanting this one for a while. I have zero regrets for it. It is from the house of Parfums de Marly. It is Pegasus Exclusif. Uh, it's such a glare, but... My friends, it is so good. I love this fragrance. Now, oddly enough, the original Pegasus is my least favorite fragrance from Parfums de Marly. It is so sweet. It is everything vanilla and almond in there. That's pretty much all you smell. You've got, I mean, there's a couple of light floral notes that round everything out, but it is diabetes sweet. It is just off-putting to me. Now, I'll end up buying it because at some point, I really want to have the entire collection of Parfums de Marly on my shelf. But for now, this one is the one. And what makes this one so different from the original Pegasus that I would be, I would be willing to pay so much money to have this on my shelf? It's because there is an introduction of Gaiac wood, oud, and sandalwood in the base notes of this fragrance that really round it out and make it so much more versatile. I have, I've been wearing this all summer long. And yes, surprisingly enough, you've got cardamom, almond, lavender, vanilla, amber, some bergamot. Some of those notes definitely sound more cold weatherish. But here's the beauty of this fragrance. Those woody notes that I described with the oud, the gaiac wood, and the sandalwood, all of those things really serve to dry out this fragrance. It's not as deep. It's not as dense. It's not as heavy sitting on your skin. So when it is not quite as humid outside, you can get away with this. It is so freaking good. Now, here's the other thing about those woody notes. It does introduce a lot more maturity to this fragrance. Whereas a younger guy would probably be able to get away very well with having Pegasus as a great date night fragrance. This one right here is going to be a mature, like really expensive dinner. As a matter of fact, I wore this to a dinner that I spent $135 on just for myself. But it was a fancy night out and this just fit perfectly, man. It is so good. But you better be ready because unlike the Pegasus, the Pegasus Exclusif is a little more high end. You cannot find this in anything less than 125 mils. So you're going to be paying anywhere between $315 to about $400 depending on where you find this fragrance. But as this is so good, I do recommend if you can buying it new so that it's, you're not paying, you know, a little less money for a bottle that's a year, year and a half older. Not that there's anything wrong with that overall, but this this just the love that I have for this one. So Pegasus Exclusive from Parfums du Marly. Definitely check it out. Now for fragrance number five, we're going to go back into the world of designer fragrances. And I'm going to be honest, this particular line of fragrances is probably my favorite line in all of designer perfumery. It's from the House of Bulgari. This is Bulgari. Terry Essence. Now, one of my favorite fragrances that I consider to be a 10 out of 10 is Bulgari Man in Black. It smells amazing. Now, I was at the beach at the same time that I got the Citizen Jack Mojave. I saw this one and I took a sample of it and uh, I was not ready for how punchy this was. It was a very bold fragrance. And so it's going to take a lot of confidence to pull this off. It is dirty. In the most literal sense of the world, this is a very dirty fragrance from Bulgari. If you're a fan of something like Creed's Green Irish Tweed or 
uh, Davidoff Coolwater, then you can then you can get into this. Except for the fact that there are no aquatic notes in here. The top note is citron here, and then as you dry off, you've got vetiver, orris, and then the base note. It's dirt. It's straight earthy notes. It is a very, very dirty fragrance with no aquatic notes in here. So think of it like Creed's Green Irish Tweed, but not elegant like you would think. Uh, you know, like you would think uh, a prince or a king would wear. More like a very rebellious man would wear. That is going to be what you get out of Bulgari Man. It lasts for about eight or nine hours. You're gonna find this for about $110, $120. Like I said, this is a pretty this is a pretty exclusive line when it comes to Bulgari, in my opinion, or it should be if it's not. But $120, I think, is a fair price for a fragrance of this caliber. But like I said, younger guys, you're gonna struggle. Okay, even some of the older guys are going to struggle because it's, you know, it smells like you've literally just been playing football, whether you call that European football, American football, either way, you've got grass stains, you're dirty, you're going to be smelling like this whenever you come off the field. It is so super earthy. But if you can get past that, man, you're going to be able to rock this. Okay, Bulgari Man Terry Essence, I think it's stellar. So as we roll into fragrance number six, I think I want to keep that earthy scent profile theme going like what we had with Bulgari Man. However, it's going to be adjusted just a little bit because whereas that one was just straight up dirty, this one we're going to take away some of that dirtiness and we're going to replace it with some green notes, some grass, and also the slightest hint of sweetness. This fragrance house is Harmony Perfumes. If you have seen any of my previous videos, you'll know how in love I am with this fragrance house. They are an artisanal niche fragrance house that is very young and they are very up and coming in the fragrance world, especially here in the United States. They make some incredible and very unique high quality fragrances. This is one of their earliest releases. It is Wallace. This is a brand new, uh, brand new bottle for me. And if you have seen some of my previous videos, you'll know that the bottles don't look like this. This is a new bottle design that they have a great atomizer on here and all, mm, it just smells so freaking good. This is a fragrance that was inspired by the Scottish hero, William Wallace. So. If you know anything about Scotland, it rains a lot and it's very grassy. So this is a muddy, earthy fragrance that smells like Scotland after a really hard rain in the springtime. You know what I'm saying? Um, but let me tell you, man, so the green notes in here are grass. You've also got some earthy notes that you know he describes as a Scottish bog, but also there's a twinge of what tonka bean in there and it adds a little bit of sweetness and that sweetness what it smells like is a fresh rain it smells just like a fresh rain so there is no mistaking absolutely no mistaking it's not up for interpretation what you are smelling in here it smells like wet muddy grass but it's not over the muddiness is not overdone the grassiness is not overdone everything works Everything works together in such a great unison. And even, it's crazy, even as I smell it right out of uh, right out of the atomizer, it almost seems like there's a little hint of pumpkin in there, you know? Um, you know, just like you got some things growing on the ground, um, you know, some fruits, some gourds, whatever it is. But this is such a really, really good fragrance. It lasts on my skin easily eight to 10 hours. And um, if you go shopping on their website, uh, this is, uh, this is you know, it's going to be a couple hundred dollars. But you can always get some sample sets. And you can choose which samples you want. And if you contact the perfumer, Trill Noel, who is also the owner, he responds to everybody. So I'm going to leave a link to this fragrance in my bio as well as the entire Harmony Perfume things. Once again, I do not make any commission off of this fragrance whatsoever. This is strictly for you guys to enjoy and for you guys to explore, okay? This is Wallace from Harmony Perfumes. It is a winner. Wrapping up this video, we have fragrance number seven. This is actually sent to me for free by TwistedLily.com. Thank you guys so much. 
Um, they send they send their influencers that they work with uh, some fragrances every once in a while in order to do uh, in order to do you know little promotions of them. And this one is a brand new release. That's why they sent it to me, and I'm so happy they did from the niche house of Wilhelm Perfumery. This is. Faces of Francis. I actually just made a video about this and I did a blind react to it a couple of weeks ago. Oh, it is so freaking good, my friends. Um, I've always wanted a bottle from Wilhelm because they have some really good ones from Morning Chess to Mango Skin and a few other ones that are just out of this world. But I was unsure, actually, whenever I saw what I was going to be receiving, I was kind of unsure what to think of it. I read some of the reviews on Fragrantica. It was talking about how truly unisex it is. Some of the notes in here are saffron, pistachio, driftwood, oud, vetiver, ambergris, styrax. I'm like, man, these things just don't seem to really fit together. But I'm telling you what, mm, they absolutely do, man. So you absolutely smell the saffron right on top. But there's this, it's almost like a mix of sweet woody and green all at the same time with that pistachio some juniper in there some driftwood and that oud but it's not a very heavy oud at all it's not something like you would see in tom ford's oud wood or with thamine's carved oud this one is just a much simpler and much more subtle oud fragrance a uh, cost of this fragrance is around 260 to 280 dollars twisted lily does offer you the uh, opportunity to purchase samples of this in case you want to try it out first once again use my coupon code ref since one zero you're going to get discounts anywhere you turn so be sure you check that out but i'm telling you what guys this absolutely is 100 unisex ladies you can wear it guys you can wear it guys you can buy it for your girlfriends ladies you can buy it for your boyfriends husbands for wives wives for husbands whatever way you want to think about it somebody's going to end up really really liking this i get about eight hours on my skin maybe nine depending on the temperature outside and finally even though it is a very unique scent profile it is very likable and it is very versatile Okay, I can wear this morning or night. I can wear this in the summer, in the fall, in the winter, in the springtime. It um, <laughs> it gets around. This is a great, great fragrance. One that you should absolutely consider if you want something that's unique, something that's elegant, something that just makes you feel posh. Faces of Francis by Wilhelm Perfumery. It's a 10 out of 10 for me. Oh, my friends, we did it again. We just made another YouTube video and... I'm telling you, man, my life can get pretty chaotic sometimes, and I know that I can, you know, go a couple weeks without making a video here and there, but this is one of my favorite places to be, and I am honored. I'm honored beyond words to have each and every one of you guys as my viewers, as my subscribers. I am one of the luckiest people on YouTube, hands down, man. Thank you so much for watching. Be sure you like and subscribe. Tell everybody about REF Sense. And don't forget, if you decide you want to purchase some of these fragrances, please, please, please use the links in the description of this video. Be sure you shop from there. It does help me out. Um, it does, you know, put a little bit more money in my pocket so that I can get so many more of these fragrances and bring you those reviews. And if you would like to speak to me personally, be sure that you check me out. I am on Cameo now. That's right. You've got professional baseball players. You've got movie stars, you've got wrestlers, and you've got Jesse. <laughs> I'm very cheap, $5 or something like that, and I will make you a personal video, whatever it is. I just want to make sure you guys know how loved you are, okay? Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.